Uh, my name is Malik Seneferu. Uh, we are currently at my studio in the Hunters Point shipyard. The experience of uh, being born and raised in Bayview Hunters Point, it really took the shipyard for me to be born. My parents met at a place called Diego Mary's, which is at Donahue and in Ennis, where they played music, served food and drinks and stuff like that. I was actually named after my father, Herman uh, Jerome Smith. My father came here because he was with the U.S. Navy and he was a naval cadet. I grew up in many different places throughout San Francisco, uh, but uh, being here in this shipyard through artists like Joe Sam, who uh, made it possible for me to have a studio here. I was the youngest artist to have a studio, the first artist to have an artist in residency here at Bayview Hunters Point. And later I helped others like Afatazi, the artist, Monique Afatazi. Um, I grew up early as an activist and uh, have always had the activist spirit. Grew up through the 80s, uh, experiencing a lot, and um, through that ex uh, that traumatic experience, I turned it into a level of resilience through my painting, and um, was the only person thinking the way I was thinking at a young age. The life that I have now is, uh, I, I couldn't have imagined, imagined it, although I imagined big. They say dream big, I dream big, but this is uh, probably a moment I can only just sit in and feel happy and, and cuddle in that as much as I can, if you can imagine that. <laughs> San Francisco is a hill-bound city, but when it comes to Hunter's Point, we called it The Hill. 2009, I was asked to do an exhibition at the Bayview Opera House where they would have like 100 pieces on uh, display. I came up with From the Hill and Beyond. To hear that word from the hill is so, um, it is so innate to living in Hunter's Point. You know, if you are really from Hunter's Point and you are around your parents that are from Hunter's Point, you heard them say the hill. It was Joe Sam who said, hey, you know, uh, I want you to, you know, come to Haiti with me. Some folks in Haiti want to see your work. And I was like, what? In Haiti? They, do, they know about my work? Like, yeah. And I'm off to see Haiti. And it was amazing. Fast forward a couple of years later, 1997, I said, hey, I'm going to Africa. It was just really amazing. And, you know, I just started growing my locks and frosily on my head. I was young, 20s and thin and everything. And um, it was just amazing, you know, to be in another place. I was still living in Hunter's Point, but had the opportunity to get on a plane and go to a totally different country and just be there and they love my work.
the last piece from the hill and beyond the reason why i began doing that particular work where you see my figures walking through the forest and the trees and you see the background and the hills and the idea was to be able to um, rather than painting actual black faces i wanted to paint our culture in 2009 I'm close to over a thousand pieces in that series of work. Things like From the Hill and Beyond, Uhuru, which means liberation, aesthetic ascension, which is, you know, my, my viewpoint on how we should see ourselves. Uh, the ascension and beautiful ascension is the beautiful struggle and the struggle is the pathway. Uh, and the pathway uh, being our uh, purpose on earth. So uh, in us coming to this point of knowing that the path is struggle, the path is challenge. It is not a path if it is not struggle. Nature itself teaches you. It teaches you really what life is supposed to be. There's going to be winter, spring, summer, and fall, right? But the idea is to accept it and embrace it as a beautiful struggle, you know? So when I see the rain and I see the blue in the air, it's, it amazes me and it inspires me to go to the studio and create. When I see the sun out and I see the brightness and I hear the birds, it inspires me to go into my studio and create. When I see a storm and I, I see the amazingness, just the, the voice almost, of, I would say the voice of God, like you, you feel that vibration, it inspires me to go in and, and create something in response to something greater than myself. So with that being said, you know, I'm always, always, that's why my mantra is remain creative. I believe as human beings, it is our task thus responsibility and much of our purpose to be creative.